of his worlds and hopes and dreams and misery. The days are cool and then the boat out there and you will be the heroes from them all. I should really leave for the train station. Is it all right if I walk along with you? Mm-hmm. moment there, you just gave me the impression your brain was a million miles away. We've been walking along the parade route that soldiers traditionally use as they pass through Torino, which put me in mind of the time I gave the boys the assignment to write an essay entitled Why I Like Italy. An essay exam? Yes. On the day before I gave the test, I told my boys another story about a young student soldier. And would you be willing to tell me the story about the young student soldier as well? Surely you've gotten tired of hearing all my boring old stories by now, haven't you? On the contrary, I love them. Hmm. It's a story about the first day of the Battle of Custoza on July 24th, 1848. Two platoons of the infantry regiment of the Army of Italy were approaching a mountain to take control of an isolated house. Alive there. Commander, we're under attack. Move it.
Yes, Commander, sir. I'm sure that you're brave. Thank you very much, Captain. Look out there in the forest. That's great! Those soldiers can help. Son, I need you to climb down the rope and take this through the woods to that field commander. Our survival this day depends on your courage and your swift feet. I won't let you down, Captain. Godspeed, my boy. Godspeed. That is one brave lad. Let him serve as an inspiration to all of us. Go, and good luck. And he's off. Huh? Listen up. Lay down cover fire for the drummer. Keep it coming. Nice. He stumbled. Keep going, you've almost made it. Uh, 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 uh. Italians, we would have a word! Captain. The Austrians ask for a word beneath the white flag. Give no response to the enemy. We are in a fight between life and death here, Sergeant. Yes, sir. There will be no talk of surrender. We fight! Come on, get up and run, darn it! Remember, the lives of the rest of the men are depending on you! Courage, men! We just have to hold out a little longer. Reinforcements will be coming. Huh? If you just give up the house, we won't be forced to kill you! Austrian scum. Uh, he failed. It's the end. This is it, men! Glory! Our final battle is at hand! Reinforcements! Sir! It's reinforcements! <gasps> We're saved! Captain! My boy! Ah, 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I tried my best to reach the camp in time. Nonsense. You performed wonderfully, my boy. Congratulations! But were you injured? Badly? I shot a couple times. I thought I could avoid enemy fire by dropping into the grass. It turns out they were better shots than I thought they were, which unfortunately slowed me down on my mission. I'm sorry I couldn't get the reinforcements to you sooner, sir. They shot me twice in the leg, but I just kept running because I knew that I had to deliver that letter to the camp for you. Oh? You're bleeding, Commander. Is it a serious injury? Are you all right? And forget about my arm. I'd wager you bled more. I did lose some blood, yes. And a little bit more. They cut off your leg! Ah, yes. We probably could have saved this boy's leg if he hadn't run on it for so long and so hard after he'd been shot. He's quite a brave lad. All throughout the surgery, he never uttered a single groan or complained at all. No, you mustn't, sir. I'm just a lowly drummer. I am but a lonely commander, but you, my dear boy, are a hero. And I'm guessing all the boys did rather well on the Why Do I Like Italy examination. How'd you know that? It's not hard to guess that everyone who heard your story ended up feeling more than a little bit patriotic. <laughs> You're sure right about that. Oh! These are actually intended for a student whose pardon I feel I must ask before leaving. 